Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shivartan Kamani, an integration technical architect. In the last video of Data Weave Tips and Tricks, we have seen uh, how to configure a list and map uh, into the configuration properties. And then we have also seen how to iterate them and then use it in the Data Weave. But in this video, we are going to see the same Data Weave Tips and Tricks, but uh, uh, in the different use case. So uh, here we are going to do uh, some initialization with the empty list and empty map. And we are going to see to iterate and then when we are doing some functional iteration. And based on the criteria, we are going to select some values and then we are going to collect those values and store them into list and map. So the only thing uh, that we need to note here is when we add the data to list, it's a, it's a single singular uh, value. And when we add uh, some values into the map, it should be based on key value pair. So we are going to see some tips and tricks on how to effectively use uh, uh, when we deal with the uh, uh, list of values, particularly when you read the data from database or uh, Salesforce objects, you will have a collection of data. But in those, uh, you will not use all of them at all times, but you will conditionally uh, do some selection criteria and uh, you might want to isolate them and then collect those values into list and map. That is what we are going to see. Let's get started. Let's investigate what we are going to do uh, as a use case. So this is a use case explained here. So this is a input list that's coming in. So we can assume that uh, this list is coming from either database or from Salesforce or uh, orders coming from e-commerce system. So you can simply assume that the uh, use case is to read collection of data and we are going to do uh, uh, two things and prepare a list and the map so as you all know the list is a homogeneous collection of uh, singular values and uh, map is a collection of uh, heterogeneous values and you can have uh, multiple uh, fields that belongs to different type so what we are going to do is we are going to apply some selection criteria uh, just for demonstration purpose and we are going to choose employees who are aged uh, 5 and above and uh, so uh, we are going to choose those employees with the age 5 and above here in this list and uh, and we are going to prepare the map with the key value pair and we are going to prepare some id based on this incoming value so we are going to prepare uh, the id based on the index the 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 sequence number and the name and the age so we are just concatenating so that we can form a unique value and uh, so that's the id so that will act as a key and the value will be the name so name will be uh, used as is to form the uh, value so uh, again let's see the use case we are going to get the collection of uh, details and we are going to prepare a list and the map so while preparing the list we are applying the selection criteria of uh, people with age 5 and above and while preparing, uh, while preparing map uh, we are just iterating all by using for each and then we are going to prepare id employee id employee name and for uh, some simplicity we are preparing id based on the um, index value underscore name underscore their age so let's get into the demo now so i have uh, a mule 4 flow which is created here and we have very simple uh, set of components which is very easy to understand and uh, there are uh, uh, two variables that we are setting in the beginning because uh, uh, as per the use case uh, uh, we are going to select and then store uh, uh, some selected values into the list as well as into the map so before storing we need to initialize uh, the list and map that is the objective of this video so uh, let's see how to initialize it's very simple so we are initializing uh, open bracket and square bracket which can be internally represent as, represented as a list or map so that's what we are doing here so we are using this uh, um, expression with a empty uh, list which which starts with open bracket and uh, ends with close bracket that's it that's very simple Similarly, the same way we are initializing the map with the same uh, empty list. So uh, let's see what we are doing here. So we have a HTTP listener that receives the um, list of employees uh, uh, via 
uh, as a JSON via HTTP listener and we are initializing it and we are using for each to iterate uh, uh, the incoming employee details. So in the for each, uh, so let's see what the uh, input is. So this is what we are going to prepare and uh, let's see the input. So this is the input, let's uh, maximize this. So we are going to have a, a list of employees uh, with uh, as an array because that's what we are going to iterate it in uh, for loop and each employee contains the fields name and age and as we have seen uh, the name is given here age is given here and it's all separated by comma so it's a simple uh, json list that's coming in then now let's see uh, what we are going to do with the uh, received list so we have a for each and uh, we have the collection specified as payload.employees because we are receiving this as a payload and we are retrieving the employees list and that's what we have given here and uh, the counter variable name is maintained automatically with the name uh, counter which can be accessed by using wars.counter uh, expression and uh, that's what we are doing here and uh, so we are making a log of uh, payload and then let's see this is the core of uh, uh, the uh, reason for iteration so we have this transformation and you can see here there are two variables where we are accumulating this value or collecting this value into list and map so we have a result list and we have a result map which we have seen uh, as uh, initialized as an empty list and empty map so we are going to add the value into the list as well as into the map. Let's see how to add it into the list. So we have a, um, a simple expression uh, we, with the condition that if payload dot age greater than 5 and we are doing this uh, addition, this is what is important. So uh, result list is a list of values and payload dot name is a singular value which we are adding this element into the list. So uh, this is what is uh, important to be uh, noted and uh, else we are keeping result as is because uh, we are not going to make any changes. So that's what we are, uh, we are doing here. This is a simple expression and then let's see what we are doing in the map. So uh, this is in the same way uh, but we are doing with a different uh, uh, style. So what we are doing is. Uh, instead of list we have a map but when you add you are adding it in the form of a, a json so you have a key value pairs added so we have a key maintained by uh, the method where we concatenate uh, the counter value payload.name and payload.age so as we have seen we are forming a unique value based on the counter name and age and we are forming the value based on the name so that's what is our objective so we have a key with the employee ID constructed this way and value based on the employee name that comes in. So this, this is a simple map we maintain this key value pair. So now let's see uh, uh, how to form the uh, final result where we populate the values based on this uh, uh, constructed list and map. So let's maximize this. So we are forming the um, final result uh, as a result so we have two sections one iterating list and another iterating map so I wanted to show both under the uh, same uh, data weave transformation so that you can understand better so it's very simple result and uh, the list is extracted based on the list variable uh, by using map and then use dollar value dollar is the value that is the value extracted from this list iterated one by one and the name is populated and in the same way we are iterating uh, result map which contains key value pair uh, and uh, we are populating it into two different uh, fields and you can see here we are taking this dollar which is the uh, single element that's taken but that element contains uh, two values inside it one is a key another one is a value so that's what we are extracting from dollar. So that thereby we are maintaining uh, two different values. So it's a very simple one. And uh, so that's about it. Let's run it. So when we run it, we get this value. 
and you can see here the result list contains Dravid and Ganguly based on uh, uh, the age because the age is 15 and 20 and um, we have a result map which is uh, um, populated with all values iterated one by one and as we have seen we are constructing employee ID and employee name based on the uh, incoming value but employee name is a simple name that's extracted and employee ID is constructed based on the counter name and the age. So uh, this is a simple example but uh, uh, it can be heavily used in our day-to-day uh, uh, -day activities where uh, um, we can simplify the code by means of uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, effective utilization of list and map otherwise uh, if you do it within uh, a data weave it might be or by using variable um, it might be uh, confusing so this is the best way to do it uh, a more understandable manner so that's it in this video uh, just wanted to give a demonstration of uh, how we can initialize the list and initialize the map and uh, then we can uh, see how we can uh, collect the values in those uh, variables so this is my uh, objective and then i will put this uh, complete xml in the as a link in the description below so that you can click and refer the complete content and you can practice and i think this is uh, going to be mostly used in in a uh, lot of places in the uh, real time uh, projects hope this is useful and then if uh, you like it uh, please hit thumbs up button and subscribe my videos soon i'm going to come up with more interesting topics Again, thanks for watching. Bye.